we will get there as long as so as long as Kuhiri is there, uh, Ngati Mutori is there. Okay. We don't exist without each other. Okay. So hopefully, with ourselves and um, you know, like Tia, Auntie Tia, Tia Hini. Do you know Tia? Billy always calls her Auntie, and auntie. she goes to most of his mm-hmm. his things. Oh, I. Our involvement, like with Billy TK, has been through her. His father had been a Kohira representative with us as well, oh, Billy yeah. TK Senior. Mm-hmm. So he was with us for six years as well. So we had no problem supporting that. Yeah. Funnily enough, the support that we had given as Kuhiro Whakamunina and Ngati Mujitoria um, was two years ago with, um, when they, you know, when the Mio Leafing them started. Oh, the Hikoi. The Hikoi, yeah. from either end, and Alan Gurdon. Right. That's how we got involved with Shana Kim. Mm-hmm. She was trying to find a way to stop it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, and what happened at the time is that she was looking for this kaupapa called Tōpuna. That Ngaitahu used to stop the P80 down there. Mm-hmm. Now the Tōpuni had come from Matiratana when they went to claim back Tōpuni Maunga and Auraki of the mm-hmm. Tainui Ngaitahu. Mm-hmm. So I knew the Kobaba. And so I say to Shana, yeah. don't go to Ngaitahu because the consents yeah. for the P80 has actually been started by them oh, in Tainui. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then she goes, well, what, what's a good way to do it? And I said, well, the Kohiro mm-hmm. has reinstated the upper house. You have the absolute right to use Ngāti Wikitoria in a sovereign capacity yeah. of genocide. And so she, so she picked it up beautifully. Mm-hmm. And I was saying the same thing to Emil on the way down too. You know, about explaining the Ngāti Wikitoria thing. I says the more non Māori they get involved in this. So what you have is that the more mm-hmm. that Ngāti Wikitoria is explained, the more that British subject gets pushed to the side. Because mm-hmm. when you're bringing through. You're mm-hmm. bringing back the other, the other seven mothers as well. Yeah. And because they're only a company, and because of um, you know 1992 Agenda 21, yep. they absolutely are out to kill us. Right? Yes. Yeah. And so those things we you know like uh, we were part of a treason case that went into the Waitangi Tribunal yep. seven years ago. So this um, the Komato I talked about on that Pihema. It was him and one of our Ngāti Wikitoria reps that put it into the Waitangi Tribunal. And, and so by doing that treason case, we actually ended up talking to the House of Lords representative, Fred Stewart. And so he's part of, of all this too. You know? So mm-hmm. we absolutely know that this, this thing is the company. You know, we all know it is. Mm-hmm. Um, the evidence is there, like the treason would be them putting up the straw king and the straw queen. In the past, the straw queen was Rosemary Banks. Do you know that, that one? Today, it's Jim McLean. And usually, the straw king that they use is usually the permanent resident in the United Nations. That's what they use. And so, for ourselves um, and who we should use in our, in our fight. Mm-hmm. Probably be Fred Stewart, use him being the House of Lords representative rather than the Governor General, who's mm-hmm. actually a part of that company mm-hmm. set up in 1986. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's what we would suggest. Mm-hmm. So we're working with Fred even today. Um, Billy's actually met with Fred mm-hmm. three, about three weeks ago, I think, mm-hmm. just to make sure that what I was saying was true. <laughs> so, you know, we've, we've got some big ammo at, mm-hmm. our, at our disposal if we use it. Yeah, Shanika mentioned that she's been able to stop 5G in the Cromandel, you're saying? Yeah, um, she it's used the it. Y22 and Y45 mm-hmm. as, as that. Yeah. And, yeah, it was the Herald that actually got back to her. Mm-hmm. Now, we had had a hui down in Mangamata 40 of uh, September last year. Mm-hmm. And we just finished the hui when she rang up to say, yeah, to say that the Herald had said that the from what they could see, the Y45 yeah. was still a legitimate claim today. Mm-hmm. And because it also went into the Marina coastal area, it also brought in the Y22. Right. So that's what she used and, and it worked. Okay. So everything that we had suggested, she's gone and used it, it's worked. Mm-hmm. Now she's a real, been a real soldier. Uh, for ourselves, we would, you know, we would be silly in what we've seen with the promotion of Billy, you know, and all his good stuff, mm-hmm. we would be silly not to use that to unite 
ourselves mm-hmm. against it, the real threat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good to see um, like Trump out there doing a pretty good job on all the illegal yeah. election stuff. Mm. If he'd have gone down, I don't think we would, I don't think we'd be able to pull this off. No. Yeah, it's a shame. A pretty good shot now. Mm. So if you are happy, you know, but this is what needs more of a right through the whole country, you know, like um, when I heard that you guys are coming from the South Island, oh, ah, sure, sure, Maureen, mm-hmm. you know, um, and we'd be silly too, I've got to say, is that not to have used as candidates, you know, for the possible F- NZPP, not to consider standing for the, the Parliament, the Vero Parliament. Mm-hmm. It, it's a, a big question I have is um, assuming you're successful, yep. what does the future look like as far as how this country functions, what, is, what government system do, are we looking at? Okay, the model, the model that Kohiro um, set up is at this time there's 12 areas, each of those areas has four people in it, two are uh, Ngāti Wikitoria, to a happy. Okay. Mm-hmm. So one of the one of the Ngati Wikitori and one of the Hapu reps go into the parliament where they debate whatever things come through from Hapu and Ngati Wikitori. And the only things that that parliament is there to debate is only national and international tapis. Mm-hmm. Anything back at home mm-hmm. is Hapu Tanga in conjunction with Ngati Wikitori. So the Ngāti Wiki Toria, in wherever they are, are aligned up with the Hapu anyway, yeah. in the areas. That's, how, that's what it was supposed to be, but it's never been like that, mm-hmm. because of the simple act of them signing on the flag. So it's never ever happened. Mm-hmm. So, so when you have the likes of, um, you know, Alfred making his accusations, mm-hmm. and, he's, and he's accusing Ngāti Wiki Toria, it's because of them signing on the flag, why it's, this has never ever happened. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, when they debate on these issues, like the issues I'm talking about now, would be things like the 1852 Constitution that went up through that Parliament and was agreed to, you know, that allowed it to go to the Queen. See, these are all things, there's a 75% ratification of whatever, depending on how many people are in the room at the time, it's always 75% ratification. Um, it's five, you know, it's the basic thing of the five houses, finance, defence, justice, so you've got five funds there. The bigger thing to look at was if we're able to just sit down and get it together, we can actually get back what's owed to all of <coughs> That's the bigger thing. Mm. Okay, so we're essentially going to have the regions governed by the people within the regions and, the, and those um, four Yes. Four key people yep. representing that region. Each region. Yeah. And two of those four will be in the Well, those guys, will, they, they will answer to the national parliament. The same setup is done at home within the Hapus themselves. You know, you've got a runa of Hapus in, in each of those 12 areas that also in line with Natsu Wiki So it's just. It's the same structure, just moving up the chain. Okay. And those representatives, will they be elected by the people within their region? Yeah. Yep. And what about the people um, in, in Parliament? Are they elected by the whole of the regions, or how, how do they attain their place? Most of it's done on who has the most votes at the time. Same Those of those ones that go, uh, uh, they go into the house that's got the 48, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, the, the person that's there is filling on one of their 12 areas, and it's whoever has, you know, those four that have the 12, uh, the highest votes in the area. And both Hapu and Ngāti and Victoria, it's done that way. Okay. And the, the parliament is... Constitution, but prior, there was no constitution prior to that, eh? Right, yeah. Because it's it's its own um, sovereign. Okay, so 
put the, the thing with the, the constitutions, what it does, it puts you under law. And Magna Carta's done. And in Magna Carta, there's only, you know, all other kings and queens are subject to a British king or a British queen. That's one of, that's one of the um, negative sides of it. But the other thing, too, is that under Magna Carta, that country actually gets put under the Holy Alliance Treaty of 1213. I don't know if you know that one. What's happened at that time is um, in around the early 1200s, King John's trying to claim the country under him, under the allodial title. The people rebel, the, um, the Vatican's not happy because he owes them heaps of money. And so he gets summoned under the threat of excommunication. And so, he, and this, this is all in a book on Queen Elizabeth that I read. And where it explains that the Pope made him wait outside for three days and then he got him to sign all the lands of England under the Vatican of what became, that's when the whole world was put under a global trust under the Holy Alliance Treaty. Yeah. So and it's that all the three trusts in the Vatican were set up now. That's all part of that. And so what's come of that is the barons getting pretty pissed off and then they get him, they force him to sign Magna Carta. But still, in Magna Carta, all other kings and queens are subject to a British king or a British queen. And so we've come under that because of the adopted flag. Um, the Republic, they don't realise that they've been played. Yeah, and so, and what I mean by that is that they don't realise that there's no ties to the monarchy. That's where you end up losing what was there, you know, for King William is there from 1832 to 1835. Once they put the Republic in place, he's no longer there. So to try and make up for that, because like I said, after the Whakaputanga, we can't tell them, hey, we've got no jurisdiction. That's why 1840 is the invitation to the Eighth Waka. So if they can have, tell their people, behave <laughs> at Russell. Yeah. Yeah. from hapus, um, you know, whatever is a national or international problem to them. One of the big things that we need to do too is, uh, as Kohiro and Natalie Victoria, is we need to put the League of Nations back in place. Because what's happening, eh, the, if, you look at, if you look at what the United Nations now is, you've got, and this is the Rothschild plan obviously, from 1776, they didn't go and take over France, because France are the ones who have the gag seals. That's why they it was targeted next. Mm. We're next in 1840. Russia gets, oh no, South Africa, sorry, is the ball war. So all these powerful countries, the Rothschilds have gone in there mm. to cause the revolutions, that then turns them into republics. So when you look at the permanent council that's the United Nations now, the only, hey, the only sovereign sitting at that table is Britain. All the rest of all the republics, okay, whether you're Germany, France, Russia, China. So, ourselves as Kohira, yourselves as Nati Wikitori, we have, we have a, a shot now to put that back in place. Because when Kohira is brought out of recess, the right to trade between sovereign nations has come back. And it's there if we pick it up properly. It's pretty big, hey? That's some big stuff. And, I, you know, and just hearing the countries that I named, that's who has the opportunity to fix the world. Yeah. Just to be able to take out what's there now running the world, which is the corporations, yeah. there's no whakapapa to even there. All they do, all they have is the media and the money, yeah. which, which, is, which, yeah, well, which is exactly what the Rothschild said, eh? Yeah. They said if you can control the media yeah. and you can control the money, it doesn't matter who governs, mm. they'll, still, they'll still be it. So, and we already have a publicised place <laughs> to put it. And that's down at Omeka Pa, down in Matamata, which is just down the road from where Kuhiro was reinstated. 
So, and it's quite a big fucker popper thing that this that's bound to this. Like when I talked about down the Hawthorne there, um, the road cover being born in that hot pool. What is it? It's a fucker popper line going back through Muri Muri Finwa's sons and Mokupunas, going back into the Pacific. We have the the Battle of the Arikis, Paikia. It's the only Ariki that survived in a, in a battle there, and so he made a hit out your law. And it's that same fucker popper going back through through the pike here that goes back through to Hakul, that's 88 BC, mm. and then goes back into hey. Egypt with Maui, Pumare, and Rata, and, and basically goes back to the 12 tribe stuff when they were at Mod. So, again. French, what I was, we'd read in was that French were given the get seals by virtue of coming down through a line through Jesus, which included um, Joan of Arc and, and Co. You know? so, and so what we have, um, and what's happened is that that French king, um, Louis Philippe, his, his descendants married into the Toyopuru line. And so the Toyopuru of today, who's younger than me, Carries the fuck up of all these countries. And he holds all these tongues too. So all those art, all those articles, all those ones, they, they're all out there. Like one of the ones I was asked to, to meet, you know, talk with, it's gonna be nearly ten years ago now. And her husband was the one that was totally, you know, like he, he was the Iwi leader at home. Whereas I was the Hapu <laughs> was the Hapu leader. You know, I'm asking, you know, because what had happened is um, I'd been asked to help to reinstate the old order. Now, to do that, I'd ask the question, what do we need? Hapu support? Yes. Um, at least three. Well, we end up getting nearly 20. And I go, anything else? Yeah, if you've got an ariki in your area, that would help you. I say, oh, have you got anyone up, up this way, up north? And I go, oh. And the guy I'm talking to is the... Um, the private secretary for the Tiger Group. And one of the Dave Simmons, you guys have heard of him. He was a historian, he was the um, curator for the New Auckland Museum, but he was the secretary for the, the Tiger Group. And so I'm asking him if there's any Ariki lines up in the north. He goes, Do you know Media Pumari? He says, No. He goes, Do you know Harmi Pitipi? Oh, yeah, I know him. He's one of the ones who betrayed us, you know. Mm-hmm. And by the turns out, that's her husband. And but, but I still end up getting her signature on our hapu support. Mm-hmm. So we're actually the part of hapu too that to help to reinstate older when mm-hmm. we all decide we can sort of sit down with each other yeah. to nut our way through this. Mm-hmm. So you know, if if you're successful. Parliament and the regions of their local governments yep. and their representatives. And you talked about the, I think it's in five divisions within the government, justice. Um, yeah, those are the five arms. Yeah, etc. Um, so, will you be operating under common law or what, what will be the structure of the justice? I'm assuming it's not going to be under Admiralty law anymore. No. Well, that's you know that's something that those ones in their parliament, you know that you know it's up to them. But what's what's already there and is is there already from when it came out of the recess in 1997. How was how it went into recess in 1947 is how it's come back out, and I haven't been privy to see what that actually looks like. And I'm, and I'm only saying because at the time I only had the 12, and we weren't able to do a hell of a lot because we're too, we weren't too that number of us. So the main reason now for the unity thing is, you know, to stop vaccines, 5G, etc. So I think we all know that if the 5G stays on, that we're all in some deep trouble. You know, it's, Strong enough to counter that, stop chemtrails, 
smart meters. You know, there's a lot to do. Mm. Mm. Yep. Floor T80. Yep. T80. And we are the only chart. And this is for the world. I, I don't know if you know or not, but out here, all the indigenous people are waiting for us to wake up. And we haven't done it justice, really, by um, including Nazi Victoria at the time. We had, you know, we had a few, but you'd never get the amount that's interested now because of what Billy's been posting up. <coughs> never come. We didn't come anywhere near that. But it is a, you know, like how I like to put it in the past. You know, we had all these alternatives, and we just chose the wrong one. And as you heard me say, Claire, now we're down to two choices. You might have died. Mm. Mm. I even said to say, why do you think that person next to you has to think about that? Mm. Mock him out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm like, right? What do you want? What? you got to think about it. <laughs> but that's where we're at now. Mm. You know? this, they can, you know, I didn't think that the, the, you know, I didn't think the curse would come through if we got it wrong a second time. Because I honestly couldn't see World War Three happening. I can see 5G killing us in a day. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's how scary this is. Yeah. yeah. And the vaccines. Yeah. Mm. 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 yeah. And I'm talking about them using the satellites, you know, mm. to how they've gone and done all the fires and that. They could irradiate us and wipe us out. Mm. What is it? I think there's at least 20,000 satellites circling us. You know, so we're, you know, we're sitting in an open microwave ready for them. If they're able to take control, I'm confident that Trump's going to knock them over before they get us, mm. to be honest. It worries me that um, Trump is promoting the vaccines. He's been. Um, yeah, I don't know if he's setting that up or not. Eh? Mm. I just don't know. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few different ways of looking at that. Um, yeah. Like a lot of what he's done, he may be using an analogy or um, perception to hold the positions. Yeah, that's how that's how I'm looking at it too. To catch them, let them get it out there, and then catch them in it once they find it. But just this morning, I, you know, they actually go and, uh, this is on Fox, mm -hmm. and they go and actually name nanoparticles <laughs> in what's in there, you know. Oh, they've gone and said it on TV. Far out, man, that's dumb. Because that's what everyone's going on about, eh, is the nanoparticles. Mm. Yeah, that's good. We had a cousin, eh, like I'd watched, um, uh, right at the beginning of the lockdown, we watched this video where this, it showed this, and it was a Maori television thing. Mm -hmm where this Asian woman had dropped dead straight across from a 5G tower, nearly erected 5G tower. I don't know if you guys saw that one. And um, anyway, mm -hmm. at the same time, I, uh, our first cousin passed away. And so I go and post up, well, how did cousin, you know, die? He's one of the biggest, toughest fellows in our family. Mm -hmm. And um, so I post up and I say, hey, did he die? Was he sick or did he have an accident? And it come back a day later that he dropped dead in his garage. You know, he's all Wi-Fi up in there. I knew he'd gone over to. Um, oh. I knew he'd gone over to uh, Bali mm -hmm. at the end of last year, mm -hmm. so he's all vaccined up too. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. So I was pretty sure that you know that that he'd got man, he'd right? been five G'd out. As many others, I've, you know, I've been to many funerals this year. Mm. We have. Yeah. <laughs> and you know. And the old ones, this, it's been mostly the 50s, 60s. Mm. And they had any dropping dead heart attacks. <coughs> so I'm pretty sure it's got to do with the body stuff too. Yeah. And um, the 4G as well. Apparently it changes the way your, your um, blood cells behave. It makes them quite gluggy. So it um, coagulates. Yeah. More yeah. glucose. Um, well, it, it doesn't flow as... Yeah. Freely, so it will put push up your blood pressure and things. I, I actually bought my meter in my bag. Um, so if anyone wants to see what to release the funds or, or the bank accounts yeah. uh, to oh, the yeah. to the country. Um, firstly, and I'm assuming that was the Queen who I perceived to be the Queen, yeah. Elizabeth. That's real. Yeah, and so 
does that mean that she recognises that the current um, corporation is, is a fraud, that it is not If so, um, if you remember when John Key went to see the Queen and stayed in the palace, what was the significance of that? Did, did that have anything to do with what's going on here? Or was that, I mean, it would seem strange to me that she would invite someone who was the front person of a fraud perpetrated mm -hmm. against her and her standing. The thing is, she's, she's not actually claiming any sovereignty, which she never had. Um, I mean, when Kohira's put into recess, say in 1947, they've gone and adopted the statutes of Westminster, but she's never claimed to be the sovereign of New Zealand. And because Kohira was still in recess, okay, she's been there when it's been pulled out of recess, but what we're actually contesting now are the deeds of settlements that we have voluntarily gone and signed off. So we're up against ourselves. Mm -hmm. right. We haven't been strong enough in having the lower house in place. So what's come out stronger than us is 150 tribes having said the companies and so on. That's what you're up against. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're not too worried about non-Māori. Mm -hmm. all, all they needed was our say-so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So they think they've got it because they think even Muni Whenua and Ngāpui are over. But they're not realising, and we're not advertising it either, that everything that we've protected all through these years is still valid today. Right. Okay. Um, now, the accounts that are supposedly held in Shingham Trust, and you talked about the values of those, and are they held in fiat currency? Is the bank man those amounts yeah. Back when Kohira was put into recess, um, when we went to go and reinstate the old bank, um, it was told to us that all the like all the debts on, on the banks had been paid. What was owed now is proper, is leased monies from the 1860s. It's actual is what's owed. So Kohiro had held all of those debts in their time, and all the paperwork that went with that. Mm. And so what? And I used to have, I used to have that um, that submission, and I saw it just over the weekend. To be honest, and I should have taken a copy of it at the time. But the fear thing wasn't there when it was owed. There was no fear at that time. Yeah, so it was before the formation of. The, um, the Crees and McBride yet, James Thomas and McBride. Okay. This is going to be a doozy. <laughs> I like this one. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all ears. <laughs> yep, okay. Um, as, part of our, as part of the treason case that we started, in, uh, our co-master started in 2013, said that we end up uh, tying in with the House of Lords representative. Mm -hmm. So that's in August of 2013. In September of 2013, we were having hui's with him mm -hmm. to help to reinstate the poor hero. So he wanted to help us to do that. And in November of that year, he gets two visitors that have come over. They want to come over to see where Ratana had done the covenants with the Trinity Waiting of the Tereri mm -hmm. And so then they give this quarter to uh, one, so you've got a German guy called Arik, Arik Bethke, and um, a woman called, um, uh, I forgot her name now, Le 
be doing it. But it's actually Libby that, that gave us this quarter and in 2010, this guy James Thomas McBride, I think he was in America, he goes into the Vatican three times that year and he's going in there to prove to the Vatican that he's the direct descendant of St. Peter. The third time in, they have to accept that he, that he is who he says he is and then it's full disclosure of everything in the archives. And so they find everything that they've done in the past, everything they intend to do. Um, they find out that um, Pope Benedict's been set up to be the one world order king for the corporations. That's why he gets stood down. But they also came across the Treaty of Waitangi. It was put in there by the Ratana, I think it's in 1924, 25, when he did his world tour. So in 2013, he then puts out these decrees, and these are the decrees here. So, so, so these come out in February, March, June of that year. And so part of what he goes and decrees is that um, one is to end all wars, two, to get rid of the, uh, and I'm, I'm not numbering them in, in order. Yeah, just yeah. Them, yeah. But it was to give uh, full global debt forgiveness, to get rid of the fiat system, to, to not now bring it back under the gold back dollar, annul all compacts, oaths, and treaties, and why they came here, because only covenants would stand. Now, the Slippy Bergen had come here because, as far as they could see, the Treaty of Waitangi that was in the Vatican was the last covenant of the whole world. That's how she's going to see it. Um, annul all oaths, compacts, and treaties, or like I said, where covenants would stand. Um, no, uh, why? Dissolve.